In this video, we are going to look into how the millionaires and billionaires avoid paying taxes legally. In fact, the average worker that works a regular 9-5 job might be paying more taxes than someone who makes millions. We'll go down the list of strategies that the rich uses to pay as little taxes as possible. As always, please consult your own tax advisor before embarking on any of these strategies. So grab a cup of coffee, like and subscribe to this channel, and let's go. Strategy number one The rich prefers their income to be the low tax income. What do they mean by low tax income? This is income that is coming from capital gains or qualified dividends. The tax rate on qualified dividends is 0%, 15% or 20%, depending on your taxable income and filing status. The tax rate on most net capital gain is no higher than 15% for most individuals. Some or all net capital gain may be taxed at 0%. If your taxable income is less than or equal to $40,400 for single or $80,800 for married filing jointly or qualifying widower. Strategy number two The rich places low value stocks into their IRA or tax defer accounts. This is exactly what a billionaire did. His name is Peter Thiel, and back then he owned low value shares at PayPal, of which he was a co founder. He placed a majority of these shares into a Roth IRA which grew in value over time. And today it's worth about $5 billion, and all this gain has been untaxed. Right now it's not clear if the government will contest these gains, but so far I believe it's within the tax code. Strategy number three The rich owns property. And lots of it. They can deduct large amounts of interest payments and property taxes from their taxable income, therefore reducing the their tax liability. In fact, some of the rich pays zero taxes because their property expenses are more than their income. Strategy number four The rich takes most of their compensation in stock options. They only pay taxes when they exercise to their options. They can control when they actually pay taxes and also whether it's capital gains or ordinary income tax. Strategy number five The rich likes to set up corporations and get paid through them. A corporation can deduct many expenses such as accelerated depreciation, shifting profits to offshore accounts and more. Also, the corporate tax rate is only 21%, compared to the top personal tax rate of 37% currently. Strategy number six Donate to charity. The rich can lower their taxable income every year by doing this. In fact, capital gains taxes are eliminated when you contribute long-term appreciated assets directly to a charity fund, instead of selling the assets yourself and donating the after-tax proceeds. When you assume 20% for federal long-term capital gains taxes, plus a 3.8% Medicare surtax, this leads to a potential increase of 23.8% of both your tax deduction and your charitable contribution. Strategy number 7 Own a sports team. The rich can write off many expenses and lower their taxable income using this method. It doesn't even matter that the team is profitable and growing in value, they can write off players' contracts, equipment, etc. Amortization allows sports team owners to take nearly all of the team purchase price as a tax deduction, and it is treated as an asset that loses value over time. Strategy number 8. Structure your hobbies as a business. When you have enough money, you can purchase racehorses, hotels, race cars, and turn it into a business that allows you to write off the expenses against your main taxable income. It's been rumored that Beanie Babies founder Ty Warner splurged on luxury hotels and didn't pay taxes for 12 years due to the expense write-offs. Strategy number 9 The rich uses something called step-up basis. What is this? According to Investopedia, a step-up in basis resets the cost basis of an inherited asset to its market value on the decedent's date of death. If the asset is later sold, the higher new cost basis would be subtracted from the sale price to calculate the capital gains tax liability, if any. For example, a person bought an asset for $10,000, holds it long-term, and then when he or she dies, it is now worth $100,000. The person who inherits this asset, the cost basis, can be reset to market value which is the $100,000. And if the inheritor decides to sell it for $100,000, then there will be no taxes due. This technique just avoided taxes that would have been paid on the increase in value from the original $10,000. Anyone can take advantage of this tax benefit as long as they don't sell the asset that increased in value and pass it along to their heirs. Well, there you have it. 9 Strategies that the rich uses to avoid paying taxes legally. These techniques have helped them keep more money in their pocket and pay less taxes than the average American worker. I hope this video opens your eyes to what the wealthy see and accepts as good information. Until next time, please like and subscribe to this channel for more future videos, and happy investing.